Hello everyone. This video walks through completing packet tracer assignment 3.4.2.5 Troubleshooting GRE. This packet tracer assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Connecting Networks version 6 curriculum. Now in this network, just like all of our troubleshooting networks, hopefully you have already configured the technology first or the protocol, which happens to be GRE now with our VPN tunneling or creating a GRE tunnel. So hopefully you've already done that lab previously to this one. That will help you in trying to pick out what is wrong with the lab. So as usual, Cisco has configured some stuff, but incorrectly. So now we are looking at trying to fix that for them. Okay. So we want to create a GRE tunnel between RA and RB, kind of like our previous lab. We've got a lot of stuff in between here in the internet cloud that we can't control, but we want it to be a seamless connection between RA and RB, like a direct tunnel through the the madness or the chaos that is the internet. And we've got this network up here oops, is the network address up here. That's the network address here. This is the virtual interface address and it shows you in your tunnel as well. So let's see what they've got configured first. And the easiest way to do that is always do a show run. Of course, now there are other things to check when you're troubleshooting, like the physical interfaces. Did the IP addressing come in right? The physical interfaces and stuff are plugged in correctly. I'll let you know that. But that is something generally in troubleshooting that you may want to look at as well. So we want to make sure that this stuff matches up. So right here, we got tunnel zero. It says 172.31.0.1 is the IP address for it. And we notice that that is actually wrong. Our tunnel zero for RA, we want to be 192.168.1.1. G00 as well, they have wrong. So they kind of like flip flop these two IP addresses. They do have the tunnel source correct for uh, RA, and they do have the destin tunnel destination correct, which should be the physical interface on RB, which is 64.103.211.2. So they got these two correct, or these two parts of tunnel zero correct. That is wrong, and this is wrong. So we're going to have to kind of clear out both IP addresses first before it'll let us put one back on because it's going to tell you there's a duplicate address. So let's go into tunnel zero first and fix that. Interface tunnel zero, I'm going to do no IP add, okay? And then I'm going to do IP add. What it should be is 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.252. Oh, I'm sorry. I just literally said we got to take them both off, and I forgot that quick. Sorry, everybody out there. All right, so S00, or sorry, G00 is the one that was overlapping, um, and no IP add. Now, while we're here on G00, let's add the IP address back in there. Should be 172.31.0.1. 255.255.255.0. All right. Now let's exit out of that one and go into interface tunnel zero once more and put its IP address up there 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.252. Sorry about that. Well, at least you can see that I wasn't lying to you. All right. <laughs> um, it, it, you have to clear out both before you can put them back up there because it'll overlap. All right, now if we do a show run again, we see that that has been fixed correctly. Um, everything is up as far as the interfaces. We don't see a shutdown, so we should be good there. We'll come back to our default route in a minute. Let's make sure, or sorry, our static and default route. Let's make sure first that RA and RB can have the correct tunnel information. Then we'll come back to the static routes. So let's do a show run again. Okay, so do show run, and it looks like we got tunnel 192.168.1.2. That is correct. Correct subnet mask. Its tunnel source says it's G00. Is that correct? No. Its tunnel source should be S000. Also, its tunnel destination should be the physical address on RA, not the tunnel address. So they put the tunnel address, we need the physical serial 000 on RA, which should have been 209.165.122.2. Okay, so let's go and do interface tunnel zero. I'm gonna do IP source S000, and this will 
tunnel source S000. It'll overwrite the other tunnel destination. And we're going to do 209.165.122.2. Okay. So tunnel source S000, tunnel destination 209.165.122.2. That's the physical address on S000. I'm going to do a show run one more time. So we now see that's fixed for tunnel zero. It has actually came back up now as well. Okay. Um, G00, make sure that IP address is correct. It looks like it is. All right, so now let's look at our static routes, okay? Let's go back to RA. So remember in our last lab, we said we want to reach that local area network down here, which is 172.31.1.1. That includes SB, PCB, and G00 and RB. So that's this network right, well, right here, okay? So we want to reach that network, okay? So it should be .1.0 is the network address right here IP route 172.31.1.0 255.255.255.0 and we want to send it and we're on RA here we want to send it to get to that network to the virtual interface not the physical interface they put the physical interface we want to send it to the tunnel interface so that it bypasses and kind of creates that tunnel so here we need to actually put I'm going to copy that. No. I'm going to put paste there. The correct one should be IP route 172.31.1.0, 255.255.255.0, and then 192.168.1.2, which is the virtual interface for RB. So send it to the virtual interface. So leave that, get to this network down here. I need to send it to that virtual interface. Now, on RB, our static route says if I want to get to 31.0 172.31.0.0, which is this network up here that includes PCA, SA, and G00 and RA. So right here. Okay. To get up there, if it leaves RB, I need to send it to 192.168.1.1, which is the virtual interface, the tunnel interface on RA. That is right. And we got 100 out of 100 here too, because we fixed all our issues. So the issues we had, if you documented them, are incorrect IP route on RA. We had tunnel zero and G zero zero's IP addresses flipped, so we had to clear them out, then start over with putting them back in there. And then RB had the incorrect tunnel source and tunnel destination, so we had to fix those. Okay. So again, uh, it would help with the troubleshooting lab if you completed the configuring lab, so you can kind of see and compare. Um, of course, when you're troubleshooting again, make sure you, you know, start with your simple stuff. Show run. Check your IP addresses on your end devices. Check to make sure stuff is plugged into the right ports. So on and so on. All right. Now, of course, you probably could have guessed something's wrong with GRE because we're doing a troubleshooting GRE lab. Uh, but again, that concludes this one. Hope that helped. And we got 100 out of 100 on the troubleshooting GRE lab.